क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई क्रीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ न्यू प्रॉब्लम वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हाउ टू ऑप्टेन ट्रांसफर फंक्शन बट यूजिंग स्टेट वेरिएबल मॉडल इन लास्ट वीडियोस वी हैव स्टडीड हाउ टू ऑप्टेन स्टेट वेरिएबल बट फ्रॉम डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एज वेल एज फ्रॉम ट्रांसफर फंक्शन नाउ वी विल डू द अपोजिट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव find the transfer function in short we can write tf of the system which is described by equation or state variable model here the model is given x1 dash of t and x2 dash of t is my state variables these are my two state variables and here the highest degree of differentiation is one now this is my a matrix and this is my state variable x1 x2 this is one is my b matrix and input is u of t now in output state variable model this is my c matrix and last one is my d matrix normally they in exams they'll give you d value 0 or else you will get the equation like y of t equal to c into x only so we'll see the solution how to obtain or how to achieve a transfer function there is a formula that we have seen in the theory part also so just go through it so that you will get the idea how to obtain transfer function using that formula this is my transfer function formula h of s is equal to c into bracket si minus a the whole inverse into b plus d now if i compare this whole state variable model with the standard equation of state variable matrix then you will get the values of a b c d matrices so my standard values or standard state variable model is so just compare this both state variable model equations with the given question so after comparing what i can say that my a matrix is this my b matrix is this my c matrix is this and my d matrix value is 0 now here my d value is 0 and if i substitute this value in my transfer function equation then my transfer function equation is c into bracket si minus a inverse into b only because my d value is 0 so i have substituted my d value equal to 0 so i have got my h of s that is transfer function equation is this we are going to substitute my c matrix value b matrix value in this equation but first of all we are going to find out si minus a inverse values so first of all what we are going to do we'll multiply this s value with unity matrix and product of this will be subtracted this a matrix value subtracted from product of s into i and then we'll going to find out the inverse of it so first of all we'll multiply si minus a and then we are going to subtract a value from it first of all i'll multiply this s with each and every element of this matrix so what you will get s into 1 it remains s but s into 0 is always 0 so you can write a product of these two values are this and i'm going to subtract now my a matrix value so s minus 0 is only s 0 minus 1 answer is minus 1 Zero minus of minus six answer is plus six, and s minus five answer is s minus five, and this is my and this is my s i minus a value. Now we will find out the inverse of this matrix. Now. SI minus a inverse value is adjoint of SI minus a upon determinant of SI minus a, and SI minus a matrix is this that we have already calculated. Now we will first of all find out the determinant of SI minus a matrix. Now how to find out determinant? These two terms will multiply with each other minus six into minus one. So s into s is s square. S into minus five is minus five s, 
and minus 1 into 6 is minus 6 but if I take it outside then minus minus will change this to plus so we'll have s square minus 5 s plus 6 and this is my determinant value now we will find out the adjoint so how to find out adjoint of a only do the transpose and just multiply minus sign with these two elements now how to find out adjoint of si minus a just simply shortcut one is just exchange these two value and just multiply the minus sign with these two terms i can say that if i exchange these two value so the first element is s minus 5 and here i'm going to multiply minus sign so you will get minus 6 this one it changes to plus 1 and this value is replaced by s now i'm going to substitute all these two values in my si minus a inverse formula here si minus a is in denominator so i can write this value as 1 upon this denominator into adjoint of si minus a so here i'm going to write first of all determinant value s square 1 upon s square minus 5s plus 6 and then the adjoint now i'll substitute this whole value in my transfer function formula now here what we are going to do we are going to multiply this whole row with this matrix or else you can multiply these two now if i multiply my c matrix with this whole matrix then what will happen 1 into s minus 5 is s minus 5 plus 0 into minus 6 is doesn't matter so we'll get only s minus 5 and then as we know we will always multiply row with a column or else a my column with a row so now i'm going to multiply this row with the next column now look at here 1 into 1 is 1 but 0 into s is 0 so you will get only 1 over here and s minus 5 over here now if i multiply this value with this one then what will happen 0 into s minus 5 is 0 but 1 into 1 is 1 so only 1 will be there after multiplication now i'll do the reverse operation right i'll multiply these two values and the whatever result you will get that will be multiplied with the c value now first of all after multiplying c with this matrix you will have s minus 5 and 1 which is in single row and after multiplying this b value what you have got value 1 now we will do the different operation i will multiply this b matrix with s i minus a inverse so look at here 0 into s minus 5 is 0 and 1 into 1 is 1 so after adding both this value you will get value only 1 now similarly do the next thing multiply this whole column with this row so 0 into minus 6 is 0 plus s into 1 is s so what you will get in first element you will get 1 and the second element you will get s now so this row you will get and if i multiply this row with this column then 1 into 1 is 1 but 0 into s is 0 so you will get only answer 1 so at the end if you multiply c with this one and then if you multiply the product with b or else if you multiply b with this matrix and the result or the product whatever you will get with multiply with c then also you will get the same result that is 1 so right now i am going to multiply this c with this matrix look at here how to write the product equation because that is important reason is here we have a matrix which is having a single row but two columns and he, this matrix is having two rows and two columns so look at here this matrix is written represented by one cross two and this one is represented by two cross two and this one is represented by two cross one now look at here if i multiply this matrix with this one then what you will get so we will skip these two values so your result is single row but this is your column value so whatever outcome you will have that outcome is represented in this format that is in single row but with two columns if i multiply c with this matrix so just multiply these two matrix now how to perform multiplication we will always multiply row with the column so if i multiply this first row with first column then 1 into s minus 5 is s minus 5 but 
this is added with next product that 0 into minus 6 is 0 this is our first element now we will find out the second element so just multiply again this row with this column 1 into 1 is 1 plus 0 into s is 0 so this is how we are going to represent the product of these two matrix so what you will get s minus 5 plus 0 is s minus 5 and 1 plus 0 is 1 but i'll write the next two values also now just do this multiplication now look at here this is a 1 cross 2 matrix and this one is 2 cross 2 matrix 2 rows and single column so as i said this adjacent element is removed so what you will get 1 cross 1 that is you will get only single element in matrix so just do the multiplication but after multiplying row element with the column just add the next element with it so s minus 5 with a 0 is 0 but that will be added with 1 into 1 is 1 so as i said you will get only single element that which is having a 1 cross 1 row and column multiplication and this value is multiplied with 1 upon s square minus 5s plus 6 so my h of s value is 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 into this whole numerator and denominator is nothing but the same that is you will get answer and this is our transfer function of system so this is the process to obtain a transfer function using a state variable model the similar question we are going to solve in next video so for that stay tuned to ekda and subscribe to ekda to study and next video thank you so much